Hello and welcome. I'm the Credit Crusader, and I'm here to shed some light on the recent events that have happened in the trade line industry. As we all know, wholesale trade lines shut their doors. Now, a lot of people have questions as to why they did it. Uh, you know, they're, they're releasing videos that are very non-descriptive and now kind of segueing into uh, an education package of some sort. I'm gonna give you the rundown on what I believe happened, knowing what I know, and the experience I have in the trade line business. Okay, on, when was it? February 6th, Synchrony shut down a lot of cards. Now, Synchrony was one of those cards where you could put someone on for one month and it would never come off. So you could really, really get a lot out of those cards. They only allowed three uh, users on at one time, but it was a very good posting card. It was a good card to have in an inventory if you were selling trade lines. So what I believe happened is on the 6th, they shut down a lot of cards and Mike's inventory was hit very hard. Now, you got to remember, he was doing webinars trying to, you know, reel people in to be brokers for him, charging them thousands of dollars up front for them to be able to sell lines at a discounted rate. Well, I believe that he was short selling his lines. Now, when I say short selling, what does that mean? He was basically selling lines he didn't have. He would queue up lines. He would take people's money, say he had the line, and then he wouldn't have the line, but he would just put them in a queue. So instead of a line posting in one month, it would post in after like three months, if ever, because he would, he would be so backed up because he just didn't have the inventory to, to meet the demand of the lines he was selling. So, you know, it's a lot easier, you know, or, or his strategy was just to take money first and then figure out how to deliver later. That's why he was notorious for having posting issues there was notorious for, you know, bad customer service. They, you know, they would just push you off, push you off until they could get to you. Well, when Synchrony closed all those cards, he now was screwed because he had no way of making up all those lines. First of all, when they closed the, the accounts on the 6th, uh, all the accounts that people were added to reported closed. So now all those people are pissed. They want their money back. All the brokers are pissed because now the people they sold the lines to want their money back. So now, you know, wholesale trade lines is now, you know, caught with the dilemma of what do they do? Do they refund everybody? No, they're just going to close their doors because they, they're not going to take that hit. And that is, I believe that is exactly what happened. Um, they're not the only people that went under. Uh, top trade lines, they're done. Boost my score. They've been around forever. They're gone too. It was all around the same time. So you can't tell me that that's not unrelated. Some people are saying, oh, it's FICO 10. Oh, it's, you know, this and that. FICO 10, nobody knows what that's going to really do until it happens. On, you know, in, in sometime, in, sometime in the summer, I mean, you know, people can speculate, but nobody really knows. It may not get adopted. It may, it may shut down the business altogether. It may not affect it at all. It may be good. Nobody knows. He did not shut down his business because of that. It was because of, I, I firmly believe it was because he was short selling the lines. Those lines got, all those cards got lost. He was not going to take that hit. So I feel really bad for the people that gave him money, hoping to start their own business and be a broker. Um, you know, it's just, and I'm sure it left a bad taste in their mouths, but there are other people out there who uh, you know, are, are a little more, who have a lot more integrity than he does. I mean, that guy was, I mean, did you see the videos he was doing with the cars and Grant Cardone and all that? I mean, I know, I know he went to a seminar, Grant Cardone seminar, and they, you know, and he, you know, tried to, you know, boost up, you know, his business to the max 10x and all that. That's all great. But in reality, this business is, is better suited at a smaller capacity. It is not, it is extremely hard to scale a trade line business because when it comes down to it, you're not in control of the cards. You have card holders or your own cards. You can't make cards. I mean, it's just, you, the accounts are either people that you pay to add people or they're, they're your own accounts. That is it. it. It's hard to get mass inventory on a mass scale. That is incredibly difficult. So now a lot of people are probably thinking to themselves, what now? What do I do? Well, I know for a fact there are a few companies out there that I have worked with personally and they did all right by me. The first one is Cameron. 
If you ever see his videos, he's very knowledgeable. He answers his phone and he'll take care of you. Um, you know, he's got a lot of good reviews. It's not fake reviews like on Trustpilot and all that. He honestly takes care of his people. His price is all right. He's very knowledgeable. I would suggest going to him if you're someone who's just looking to get their personal credit repaired. Um, there's another two companies. If you're a broker and you're trying to resell trade lines, I would recommend uh, Credit Profits and uh, Trade Line Vault. They have reasonable prices. They don't short sell their lines. And I believe that they are going to be honoring the wholesale trade line broker package. So the people who actually pay for that, they don't get completely screwed and they're going to get something for their money. So that's it for now. I'm going to be coming up with videos later. Stay tuned.